which is a great one because you can put it over a moisture wick t-shirt and it is treated with insect repellent and it's good for about 70 washes. I am also going to spray myself with insect repellent. So I'm not gonna rely completely on the shirt. One option is the t-shirt that's a moisture wick, breathable t-shirt with a bug jacket over top or the traditional long sleeve shirt. Here you're my model. Nothing should be cotton. It needs to be breathable. These ones are treated with insect repellent. It has a vent in the back, which gives a little more breathability. Those are two options that you have. Um, you could pick one or the other or wear both. So for pants, you also want to wear long pants and they need to be loose. Please leave your yoga pants at home or any types of tight fitting I clothing. Have yoga pants. <laughs> Doug has yoga pants and he's leaving them at home. Don't wear anything tight. The bugs will bite you through it and you will regret it. You want breathability in your pants. You want ones that are designed for the outdoors, for hot environments. These particular ones, they come in men and women. They've got quarter zip on them, so they turn into shorts. If you're in the lodge, you might want to, you know, just have some shorts on. Most have some types of indoor areas that, you know, have bug screens and stuff. So to provide you a little more cool you can unzip them but wear them the long parts day and night when you're out in the rainforest for your underwear for men and women there's great ones that are available that are antimicrobial they're a moisture wicking light breathable fabric i mean these are so light and so awesome we used them when it was super humid out when we and were in maine right our crazy maine yes trip, and it was super it, hot super hot super humid they are really great again nothing caught these work well awesome check them out in the rainforest you also want to make sure you have a hat keeps the bugs away you can also put on your bug net over top of your hat depending on what areas you're in you might actually need this bug net and having a brim helps you put the bug net over top it's got this uh, little vent in it as well to keep you cool and the material is the same as the pants the same as the shirt lightweight breathable nothing gotten let's clean this up and see what else we have so now we got shoes. You're gonna need three types of shoes. Some types of hiking boots, some flip-flops, and rain boots. Flip-flops are easy. You can wear them around the lodge and or in the shower. Hiking boots, men's. We've got dogs. We've got Nikki's that are um, perfect for times when it's dry. You want something with traction so that um, it gives you grip around the forest, uneven terrain. And now for our special boots, these fancy bad boys. I'm actually gonna bring Doug in to tell you about them because these will double as our rain boots. Now, if you don't have these, that's okay because most of the lodges will provide you with um, rain boots. You can also get a pair of these, which are really cool. So Doug, why don't you come in and tell us about the fancy boots you found us? All right, so these? Yes, so tell us about these, these that we will be using as our rain boots. These are your special Nike FSB version 2 swamp boots. Um, shortest answer is these are used by kick-ass U.S. military special operators when they're in the jungle. They have uh, special treads for the mud and all that kind of stuff. They are vented through these little vents. As you walk, they squish the water out so they stay dry. They're lightweight, they're by Nike. They're kind of like sneakers, except they're for going in the jungle. And they're, they're perfect for rain if you don't want to wear the rain boots. Because honestly, the rain boots you, they give you at the lodges are great. Some lodges do, some do, lo, don't, so you need to check. But um, these you know, fit our feet perfectly and they give you more traction than a rain boot. Yeah, more comfortable for walking yeah. tons of miles in the mud. Exactly. The socks, we have antimicrobial socks. These are military socks, so they are designed to be breathable in very hot climates. And we will wear those. They also eliminate odor. They regulate temperature, transport the moisture, and they're blister resistant. These are awesome. I found these. I'm so excited about these. Another outerwear item that you'll need is a rain jacket. 
We have these Patagonia rain shadow jackets. They are a jacket that is meant for rain or snow. It is waterproof. It is lightweight and breathable. It has the vents on the side for extra breathability. These are awesome jackets. Down below, you'll find the links to the products and the manufacturers to most of the products that we've covered here today. We're new to the Amazon affiliate program, so if you want to use the links, it definitely helps us out on our channel. So the additional items that you will need for your travels to the Amazon, most of you will be staying in a lodge, and this is really what this is covering. A lot of the clothes and things are good for any of the boat cruises, but for the lodges, um, you definitely want to bring a backpack. The terrain and the environment does not really allow for rolling suitcases. Most of the hotels in Lima or Cusco that people will be coming from allow you to leave your extra luggage there. So just bring a backpack, a sturdy backpack that has a water cover for it. This one in, in the bottom actually has a cover for it. If it's raining, it's also my backpack that keeps all of my camera gear. So I will have this and probably another bag for clothes because I, most important to me is my camera gear. Um, for the inside of the lodge, the electricity works certain hours during the day, which means that you can charge your electronics for a couple hours during the day. At nighttime, um, you probably want to have some additional light in your room. So, you know, we got these little lights, enough power to them to light a, a little area. You can hang them, but they're, you know, it's lightweight, it's easy to carry in your bag. I also got us a rechargeable fan, lightweight. Everything's about lightweight because you don't have a lot of space and things to pack in, but certain things you're gonna want. This is, I would say like a pound maybe, maybe not even that, but it's got some real good power to it. You can plug it into your computer and charge it while your computer is charging. And I, bought this one so that it can actually hang from the top of the, the bed and give us a little bit of air because it's not going to have any type of air conditioning in our rooms. We are doing it um, camping style to some degree. Ziploc bags I use for everything. They I cannot say enough about how these are great. Um, I will probably put all of these in Ziploc bags and in my other first aid um, kit video you will find that I talked about silica gel packets. You probably want to check that out. Those are great for keeping the uh, moisture out of items that you've packed. We have two types of insect repellent. One of them I'm not even taking out of the bag. It was shipped to me in this bag and I'm keeping it in it till I get there. It is 100% DEET. At this point, I really don't care how much DEET is in. I want a, the most amount of DEET that you can possibly find on this planet because I don't want anything biting me and I do not want to get any crazy diseases from the mosquitoes that we did not have shots for. We have yellow fever vaccinations, but there's a lot of other way, ones like dengue fever. Get 100% DEET. We also have natural pal in places that, you know, I will be putting my camera, I will be spraying this because this does not melt clothes. This does melt plastic and wrecks things. So if I have camera gear or anything that's hanging next to me, this is going to be sprayed on me because I, I don't want to be wrecking my thousands and thousands of dollars with camera gear from um, melting stuff. I also have, because in our room, um, I'm not really sure on the plugs. I tried to find out, but whether it's a three prong plug um, or if it's a Peruvian plug, I have everything that we can plug in. I also have a universal power strip, which is awesome. I'm so happy that I found this. And then I have, you know, the little um, converters to change it from different plug types. And um, those are the extra things that we'll be bringing with us. Make sure you bring extra batteries for your electronics. Because like I said, if you don't get everything charged that you want to charge in those couple of hours you have, you need extra battery. If I've missed anything, let me know. Share them with other people who are going to be, um, you know, watching this video. Please do in the comments below. And we love to hear from you. Let me know if you like the video. 
and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and oh down went the uh, backpack <laughs> and click the bell below to get regular updates from us and thanks so much for watching we always enjoy it make sure you go out have fun and enjoy the world